So the last week, uh, the last question for this week is still about the competitive firms. So the first table is also the market demand, and the second table is the um, uh, cost of cost of table for the one firm, one competitive firms. Again, it's just for one firm. Let's look at the first question. What is the profit maximizes, maximizing rate of output? Even price is seven dollars. So we know with on competitive market, the profit maximization rule is a price equal to marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. So which in this case, the mar the price equal to seven dollars. So which means marginal cost and margin marginal revenue, all of them equal to seven dollars. Now let's go back to look at the question. So if the mar price is seven dollars, and we can sell two thousand. Uh, uh, the consumer demand two thousand, and uh, how about the marginal cost? So on the second table, we can find that the second row is for the marginal cost, and we can find when the each firm produce six hundred frisbee, and the, the marginal cost is seven dollars. So obviously, what is the profit maximization rate of the output given price equal to seven? The answer should be six hundred unit of the output. Now let's look at the next question. How many frisbee are being sold? And so given the price equal to seven dollars, and we can go back to look at the first table and uh, I just mentioned and uh, the quantity demand which is means how many frisbee can sold is equal to two thousand units. Now let's move on. It's very fast because it's once you know uh, what the important uh, uh, the the concept related to the question? You can very easy to get the answer. The question number C: How many competitive firms are initially producing frisbee? So the quantity of demand equal to two thousand dollars, uh, two thousand units, and the quantity supply for one firm equal to we can see is equal to six hundred. So one firm supply six hundred. But market de market demand a two thousand unit. So in order to uh, inc uh, so in order to satisfy this two thousand unit, so we need to introduce more firms. How many firms do we want? So the number of the firm would be equal to two thousand divided by six hundred. It tells us we need how many firms which produce six hundred uh, six hundred units. Um, we need to satisfy this two hundred two thousand dollars two thousand unit demand, so we will get three point three three firms. That is how many firms on the market. Now let's move on. What is the profit for the typical firms? So in order to answer this question, and we need to see how to calculate the profit. The profit equal to the price times the quantity minus the total cost. So that is how we calculate the profit. So the price we know is seven dollars, and we know for each firm it's produced six hundred. And now what we will do is go back to look at our table, second table to look at the corresponding cost. So the average total cost is four point five. So the co total cost will be equal to the average. Average total cost times the quantity of output six hundred, so that is our total cost. Now we can plug in this number back to our equation. So the total cost equal to four point five times six hundred. And if you have the calculator, and you will find the final answer for this one, the revenue is one thousand and five hundred dollars. That is the profit for the typical firm. Now look at the Last question: How many firm will be producing frisbee at the long term price? So, what's the difference between the long term and the short term? So, we know that in the long term, if the firm is on the competitive market, and we will have the profit equal to zero. So, zero profit that is one of the important characteristic for the competitive market. So, if the profit equal to zero. And we will have price. So first, the profit equal to price minus average total cost times the quantity, the output. 
So if the profit equal to zero, which indicates the price equal to the minimum average total cost. Now let's go back to look at the minimum average total cost. So the total cost reached to the minimum when the output equals to 100 because the average total cost equal to 2. So which means if we have zero profit and we will have the price equal to average total cost, average total cost equal to two dollars. So the two dollars will be the the uh, minimum uh, minimum uh, the minimum average total cost equal to price. So if the price equal to two dollars, if the price equal to two dollars, and we know the quantity for supply for each firm equal to 100 units. So therefore one firm we uh, produce 100 units. Now we need to go back to check how many quantity they demand on the market. So if the price equal to two dollars, the market demand actually increased to sixty-four thousand dollars, sixty-four thousand units. So in order to satisfy the consumer, the market demand, we need to increase the number of the firms. For one firm, it produces one thousand one hundred units. In order to reach to 64,000 units, we need to have the number of the firm. We'll need to have 60,000 divided by 100. And we will need 640 of 40 firms. So the answer is 640 for this question. Again, to work on this question, if not, the first thing you need to know is the profit maximization rule for the, uh, for the competitive firms. The second important concept is at what point you can reach to the equilibrium. That is when the market supply equal to market demand. And if the firm, the third point is if the firm, they are, um, they are identical in a Especially, so we know on the competitive market that each firm are identical. So in order to know how many firm we need on the market, what we need to do is use the market demand divided by the 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 production for each firm for one firm. Then we can know how many firm will be on the market.